When they gather and they mention your name, may they catch fire. When they gather and they mention your marriage, may they catch fire. time is a calendar time. Chrono simply means that from one you are going to two and from two you are going to three and uh -huh. from three you are going to four. Chrono's time simply means that from January you are going to February. From February you are going to March. Mm. In other words, Chrono's time is a human time. Chrono's mm. uh, time is a time that we human beings operate in. But God doesn't operate in chronos time. God lives in eternity and is not limited by time. And you got to also understand that when you are operating in chronos time, you have to move and operate according to the calendar of man. But when you move from the chronos to the kairos, Everything in Kronos come to a standstill. Yes. Karyos time is a heavenly time. Karyos time is a time that heavens come to a standstill and the earth come to a standstill and heavens come to a conclusion that this particular day and this particular season my son got to be blessed my daughter got to be lifted my son got to be glorified and my son got to be promoted it is a curious time I want you to understand I want you to understand under the sound of my voice. You have operated so long yeah. in Kronos time. That is why things have come to a standstill. Everything has become immobile and static. But God is saying that tonight yeah. there is going to be supernatural intervention in your situation, in your circumstances, in your life, in your business, and in your career. I came to announce to somebody that in your chronos, people look down on you. In your chronos, people spoke against you. In your chronos, you suffered shame. But when you come into your chronos, they will sing a new song. When you come into your chronos, a new page is open. A new chapter is open. Yeah. Oh, can I work this thing? Work it. Are you sure I should work this thing? Or oh, are you in the house? Can I preach like I feel it? Press I it. don't know who I came to talk to. Can I talk to you? Yes. You see, a plane cannot take off until the engine has come to its full velocity yeah. before the plane can take off. I don't know who I came to talk to, but I came to announce to somebody that your destiny has come to its full velocity. You are about to take off in a way that you have never taken off before. If you believe it, lift up your hands and shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fire, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Bible says that the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Oh, yeah. The weakness of darkness is the appearance of light. Mm. Whenever light appears, darkness must disappear. Beloved, you cannot enter into your morning until you have experienced your night. Yes. The day cannot break until there is night. Mm. And the night is your chronos. The light is your chaos. Beloved, when you enter into your chaos, your disappointment becomes the gateway of your appointment. Wow. When you enter into your chaos, 
They might not like you, but they cannot do without you because you have entered into your chaos. I, I don't know if you understand. Oh, yeah. They will talk behind you. They will say stuff about you behind you. They will badmouth you behind you. But when they see you, they got to salute. Because of the glory of God. Because of the blessings of God. Because of the goodness of the Lord. Can I talk to somebody about the God of the Kyrios? Are you sure I should work this thing? Are you very sure I should work this thing? Because probably you don't know the God of the carriers. And so let me talk to you about the God of the carriers. Maybe the God of your carriers is different from my God. And so let me talk to you about my God who operates in carriers and makes miracles happen in Kronos. The Bible says that he is a strong tower. The righteous run into him and they are safe. David said, he is my stronghold. He is the home of my salvation. Yes. David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Oh, yes. Beloved, I don't know about you, but it is, it is my battle axe. Oh. He is the weapons of my warfare. Oh. His name is Jehovah. Lebra uh, I don't know who I came to talk to. Yeah. His name is Jehovah. Jehovah simply means the self-existed God. And so when your carrier's time comes, God doesn't need to consult anybody. God doesn't need to speak to anybody. That is why he is a king and he's not a president. Because if he were to be a president, Congress must decide whether they should do it for you or not. But the Bible makes us understand that he is the king of kings and the Lord of laws. The Bible says the earth is the Lord. And the people therein and the fullness thereof. And so when God decides to bless you and to elevate you. He does it according to his will and according to his choosing. Let me talk to you about the God of Karios. He is the God of Abraham. The God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. The Bible says that his glory will he not share with anybody he is jehovah there is none like him and there will never be anybody like him ah the bible says that his name is adonai his name is the lord of laws and the king of kings his name is shamar his name is jehovah jireh he is god of all flesh ah, the bible says that who is like unto our god among the gods he is an impeccable god he is an immutable god he is the unchangeable changer i don't know who i came to talk to but i came to announce to somebody about the god of the carriers beloved we are not serving a god that is asleep we are serving a god that is awake i don't care what the attacks is maybe they have had a meeting concerning your life but let me tell you when you enter into your carrier's time when they have a meeting when they gather together they shall be broken in pieces oh i don't know who i came to talk to uh, because you have entered into your carrier's moment yeah. anybody that is sitting on your destiny that person is in trouble yeah anybody that is holding your miracle that person is in trouble anybody that is holding your business that person is in trouble anybody that is holding your contract that person is in trouble i don't know who i came to talk to but because it's your carrier's moment your enemies are about to experience trouble if you believe it shall fire the bible says it is not of him that will it or of him that run it but it is of god that showeth mercy beloved when your season comes, there is something we call the seasonalities of god yeah some comes in the winter others come in the summer and others also come in the fall and others also come in the autumn what do i mean if you don't have your miracle in, in the summer it doesn't mean that your miracle will not come it yeah. only means that you have not yet entered into your carrier's moment it means that your miracle is in the winter 
if it doesn't happen in the winter, ah. it doesn't mean that the miracle is not going to happen. It only means that your breakthrough, your elevation, your expansion, the purpose of God, the counsel of God coming to fruition and manifestation in your life, it is not going to happen during that time. I don't know who I came to talk to, but I came to announce to somebody that when your curious moment time comes, God select you, elect you, appoint you, oh, and yeah. anoint you for your destiny and for your purpose. Let me tell you something. Everything has been working against you. When you think to the right, there is an opposition. There is resistance. When you think to the left, all the demons have been released from hell against your life and your destiny and against your family, your marriage, your career, and the purpose of God concerning your life. And the devil has purpose and determined that that which has been written of you in the volumes of the book and in the archives of eternity will not come to pass and it will not come to manifestation. But I came to announce to somebody that heavens is standing still right now as I speak. Whether they like it or not, your miracle is going to happen because this is your curious moment. Whether the witches in your father's house, the witches in your mother's house, whether they like it or not, today you will lift up your head above the waters. Whether the demons from hell likes it or not, today you are going to enter into your destiny. You are going to enter into your promise. You are going to see the hand of God. You are going to see the glory of God like you have never seen before. Can I work this thing? Work it. Are you sure I should work this thing? Work it. Or can I work this thing? The other day, a woman came to Jesus and the woman said, Jesus, my daughter is sick. I need you to pray for my daughter. I need you to heal my daughter. Now, Jesus stand and look at the woman and told the woman that you are a dog. He said, my assignment is not to the Gentiles. My assignment is to the Jews. And then the woman said, yes, I accept that I am a dog. But even the dog eats the crumbs that falls from the master's table. Now, the reason why the woman said that was because the woman was determined to have his miracle. The woman was desperate for a miracle. Is there somebody here that is desperate for a miracle? Is there somebody here that is desperate for a breakthrough? Is there somebody here that is desperate for elevation? Is there somebody here that is sick and tired of your situation, of your circumstances, of your predicament and of your storm? You are desperate for a miracle. The woman said, yes, I am a dog but today I am having my miracle. Yes, I'm a dog but I'm not living without my breakthrough. Yes, I am a dog but there is a prophetic word that I am carrying in my spiritual womb. That prophetic word got to come to pass in the curious time. I don't know who I came to talk to but when your curious time comes you can be at the back but you will come to the front. When your curious time comes, people can look down on you but when your curious time comes, they will look up unto you. I came to announce to somebody yeah. that they also look down on you. By the time this program is over, they will look up unto you. If you believe it, shall fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to understand that your sickness is not lord over your life. Your lack of finances does not lord over your life. Recession does not lord over your life. The prison wall in crack houses. Your husbands are going to come back. Your ministries are going to turn around. I decree and declare a supernatural anointing sweep. Father, from my right to my left, let that move. Everybody open your eyes. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some people who are jealous of you because they think they ought to have your shine. They think they ought to have your attention. And they don't understand you can't walk a mile in my shoes, let alone walk around the block in my shoes. God is getting ready to evict people out of your life who are undercover haters. Folk that you don't even know, smile in your face, 
but all the while they're trying to take your place. God is getting ready to shift some people out of your life. This is the day that the Lord has made to crown you with glory, to crown you with beauty. This is the day that the Lord has made to deliver you from ashes and to break you into an internal glory. If you believe it, lift up your hands and shout fire. Tonight, something is happening here. I see angels that have entered into this house. And I see that the angels that have entered into the house, I see that they are wearing military uniform. In the realms of the spirit, I said, why are you wearing military uniform? And one of the angels spoke to me prophetically and said, tell my people that this battle does not belong to them. This battle belongs to the Lord. The Lord said, I should tell you that be still and know that he is God. Lift up your hands, let's worship him. And listen to me. As we worship the Lord, the power of God is about to move in an unusual way. There are some people here tonight. You cannot wait for next week. You cannot wait for two weeks. You cannot wait for another month. Something got to happen now. Your situation is 911. Professor. Somebody shout prophesy. Prophesy. Lady, look at me. Lift up your hands. Look at me. Don't close your eyes. Tonight, an angel of the Lord has brought your package. I saw you in the realms of the spirit and you were crying. Prophesy. And you were saying, God, remember me. Remember me because I am suffering. Remember me because things are hard. Professor. I don't know what else to do. God, remember me. You came to this service with great expectation. Believing that tonight God will visit you. And God said, tell Victoria that tonight... I have visited her. Prophesy. God said, tell Victoria that tonight I have visited her. I see a package. I see a big box. And I see another big box. And I see another big box. And I see three boxes. And I see that all the three boxes they have written Victoria 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 Prophesy. and the spirit of the Lord spoke to me Prophesy. and the spirit of the Lord said tell Victoria that tonight hey. I have not visited her with double I have visited her with triple Prophesy. Prophesy, Pastor. Prophesy. This is the very last time somebody she will prophesy. cry like this. Prophesy. Prophesy, this is Pastor. the very last time. Vittori. Vittori. Prophesy. Vittori. Yes. Who is yes. Victoria? I am Victoria. Your name is Victoria. Oh, yes. <laughs> prophesy. Jesus. Prophesy. The anointing here is too much. Hey, listen to me. There is somebody here. 
your story will be an overnight story. Overnight. A cameraman, an angel of the Lord is standing beside you. Put the camera professor. and lift up your hands. Prophesy. Somebody shall prophesy. Shall prophesy. Shall prophesy. Come to me. Prophesy. You tonight. Prophesy. I am about to impart into your life. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Something uncommon is about to happen to you. Prophesy. Because as you are standing here right now, I see that an angel has entered into the house. Prophesy. The angel entered into the house on a cloud. Hey. And the angel said, I want you to join me on the cloud. I'm taking you somewhere. Prophesy. Prophesy. And so I joined the angel of the Lord on the cloud. And I see myself and the angel on uh -huh. the cloud. Prophesy. Prophesy. All of a sudden, we entered into a nation. Prophesy. The nation that we entered into. Prophesy. I see Democratic Republic of Prophesy. Congo. Prophesy. That's my country. Hey. Prophesy. We entered into Congo. Whilst I am standing in Congo, I see that there is a meeting that is taking place. Prophesy! And the meeting that is taking place, I hear them saying that we are not going to allow him to become a man of God. Prophesy! We are not going to allow him Prophesy. to become a man of God because Prophesy, this true. thing had never happened in our family before. How can we look at him for him to become a man of God? And so I heard them talking. When they were talking, they were mentioning a name, and I hear the name Zaki, Zaki, hey! Zaki, Zaki. That's Zaki. my name. That's what is my your name? name? Zaki, Zaki. Zaki. Professor. Yes, now, listen Professor, to me. Papa. Listen to me very well. Now, whilst they were sitting and they were saying, we are not going to allow Zaki to become the man of God. Yes. All of a sudden, I saw an angel of the Lord showed up. When the angel of the Lord showed up, I saw that the people that were having the meeting, all of them scattered. Prophesy! And the angel of the Lord said, I want you to come up on top of the cloud again. Prophesy. prophesy! Can I prophesy? Prophesy! Oh, I feel like prophesy. Prophesy! prophesy. God Listen to me. And so I joined the angel of the Lord on the cloud. And the angel of the Lord said, I want you to talk to him. Prophesy! prophesy. I said, what should I say? And the angel of the Lord said, you are about to enter into a new season. Prophesy! Now, listen to me very carefully. The season you will not enter into it any day from today you are going to enter into it december 1st prophesy that's my birthday i was born december 1st hey. prophesy you are going to enter december 1st december 1st my birthday that is your birthday yes when you enter into that season god is saying that he will establish you you will become a great man of God. Prophesy. You will become a prophet Prophesy. to the nations. Prophesy. You, you have been through so much attack. One attack after the other. Prophesy. One attack after the other. That is true. Now, they didn't want you to become legitimate in this country. You are right. Listen to me. Hey. Somebody shall prophesy. Prophesy. Can I prophesy? Because I feel like prophesying. Prophesy. I'm looking at it in the realms of the spirit. And all of a sudden, I entered into immigration office. Oh. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> when I entered into the immigration hey. office, I see myself in immigration office. December 18th, listen, December 18th, and I saw that people from your family came to immigration office to take your file and to make sure that your green card is not issued the following day. Because if you have your green card, your green card was issued December, December 19th, uh, 2013. 
13 and I even Prophesy. see that your green card will expire December 19, 2024. That is that true. Is the, hey, your yeah. green card will expire. It's in my car. Go that and bring is it. True. I want to see. Professor, Let's, you have it in the car. I'll bring it. Finish okay. Professor. 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 But the angel of the Lord intercepted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And said, This, I am not going to allow it, Work it. to happen because my hand is upon Zaki. Professor. Zaki. Zaki. Yes, Zaki. That's my name. Uh, as I am speaking to you, yes. I see another angel come to you. Hallelujah. I see that the angel of the Lord is holding a sword. And I see that on the sword, they have written Suka Bin Pilio. Hey! Suka Bin Pilio. Hey! What is that? Hey! What is that? That's my last name. Suka Bin yeah! That is your last name. You've got to understand that your sickness is not lord over your life. Your lack of finances does not lord over your life. Recession does not lord over your life. The prison wall in crack houses. Your husbands are going to come back. Your ministries are going to turn around. I decree and declare a supernatural anointing sweep. Father, from my right to my left, let that move. Everybody open your eyes. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some people who are jealous of you because they think they ought to have your shine. They think they ought to have your attention. And they don't understand you can't walk a mile in my shoes, let alone walk around the block in my shoes. God is getting ready to evict people out of your life who are undercover haters. Folk that you don't even know, smile in your face, but all the while they trying to take your place. God is getting ready to shift some people out of your life. This is the day that the Lord has made uh, to crown you with glory, to crown you with beauty. This is the day that the Lord has made uh, to deliver you from ashes uh, and to break you into an eternal glory. If you believe it, uh, lift up your hands and shout fire. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. You can order the message in its entirety available on CD or DVD by calling or log in to our website. This program is made possible by gifts of members, partners, and friends of this area and around the world. If you are interested in becoming a partner, call us at 770-941-19. Become a partner today. Tune in for Voice of Triumph with Pastor Raphael Grant of Eagles Chapel International Ministries next Monday, same time, right here on this channel. Have a blessed week.